Guru, uh, you have spoken about the state of being at, totally at ease and uh, you have also spoken that you can sit in one place till your body drops dead, I mean… No, I am not planning anything yeah. like that. <laughs> but uh, with most of us it's like even on a holiday there is so much compulsion in the energy to engage in some activity or some experience or something like that. This is probably what I understand as our karma. In the same light, uh, you spoke about something about the Jyotirlinga, uh, that it will uh, blow the hell out of you. Uh, what I understand is that uh, only this karma needs to be removed from our energy and we would also be in the same state. So what exactly do you mean by blow the hell out of you and things like that? So, blowing the hell out of you, should hell be blown out of you or no? It should be, isn't it? So we provide created devices, methods, possibilities, sadhanas which can blow the hell out of you. Suppose I blow the hell out of you, maybe there is be nothing much left. <laughs> So instead of blowing out, we try to push the hell out of you in installments so that you have time to fill it up with heaven. <laughs> See, when I say it's love, light and laughter, the time has come. Now the lady asked, is it a prophecy? So you always believe that heaven will descend upon you somewhere in the future. When they have fixed the date, some yuga will come. You know you are the most horrible yuga? You know that? According to whatever belief systems, you are in the most horrible yuga. Most horrible time in this creation is yours. Yes. And it's always been so for a certain set of people. For a certain set of people, right through the history, it's always been so for some people. It's always been the most wonderful time for certain people. So some people blew the heaven out of them, some people blew the hell out of them. Is somebody trying to blow the hell… heaven out of you? You married? <laughs> so nobody's trying to blow the heaven out of you. So let's blow the hell out of you. Both are there in you, isn't it? Yes? Both are there, isn't it? Moments of sweetness and joy, moments of misery and unnecessary pain, both are there, isn't it? So there is hell and heaven out of you, the choice is just this, which one do you want to blow out? So I am talking about blowing the hell out of you. So in this tradition we created a whole variety of devices, a whole variety of practices and sadhanas so that you can blow the hell out of you. We can blow it out straight away but as I said the problem would be nothing much may be left. Because for most people, in twenty-four hours time, how much of hell and how much of heaven they go through, if you see, over ninety percent is hell. When I say hell, it does not mean that you are clinically depressed or uh, you are essentially in a melancholic uh, mood, not necessary. You are not at ease, that's hell, isn't it? Yes? You're not at ease, that's hell. If you look at it by those standards, almost the whole of humanity is over ninety percent of the time in hell. Sometimes they come to heaven state. I'm giving them a very generous margin and saying ninety percent, but I know it is not so. It's extremely generous margin for most people. Some people may have bigger margins but 
For most of the humanity, ninety percent of the time, they are not at ease with themselves. Only when they're involved in something, only when something that they like is happening, they are at ease. Otherwise, simply they are not at ease. By distraction, they are at ease. They're watching a cinema, they are at ease because they're distracted. If you simply make them sit down in one place, ninety-nine percent of the time, most people are in hell, isn't it? That's why the world is busy. Yes? Otherwise, most people's activity on this planet is irrelevant to human well-being. Please see this. Yes or no? Don't think so? Most of the activity that human beings are performing is actually irrelevant to human well-being. They are all busy because if they simply sit quietly, they will become total hell. Just to have a piece of heaven, they have to work. They have to really work hard. So we have devices to blow the hell out of you, shall we? Hmm? Why are you… are you in the cricket team? <laughs> Why are you looking so depressed? You're not in the cricket team. Don't because… Love, light and laughter. I say, I did not say, time is going to come. I said, time has come. <laughs> it's already come. Those who are alive and open to it, for them it's come. Those who are looking into the future for something to happen, they are waiting for that day when everybody will be happy about them. If you're a miserable person, People would like to see you off, isn't it? Hmm? So I was joking, today when I came to the Coimbatore airport, more than uh, you know, hundred people gathered and they're all there. I said, why are you all so happy that I'm leaving? <laughs> Have I lived like that? Have I done something <laughs> that everybody is happy that I'm leaving? <laughs> They all put on a sad face. They say, don't do that, be happy. <laughs> so, there are ways and don't get into all that karmic stuff and all that. That it is because my karma is like this, this hell is happening. No. You are making it happen even now. It's your choice right now, either to be in hell or heaven right now. Isn't it so? Your legs are aching, still you could be joyful, isn't it so?